Hi, John Luca. I'm Vincent. I'm a student at Dalton College in the Physiotherapy Technology Program. I'll be assessing your uh, concentric and eccentric movement of the shoulder and your open and closed chain layer on. Is that okay with you? All good. Perfect. So, first, we can stand up in front of me. So, first, we're going to assess your left shoulder and uh, concentric and eccentric movements. So, that be so this is going to be your neutral position. So as you can do, you can start in neutral position and you can aim your left arm all the way to the sky. Those are your flexors uh, working in concentric movements. So you just want to bring them back down to your neutral position. It's the same your flexors, just working in eccentric movements. So after, we can, you can extend your arm all the way to the back as much as you can. Those are your uh, extenders working in a concentric movement. And you can bring back to the neutral position. Those are also your extenders working in eccentric movement. Now we're going to use the tire band. So if you want to look in the other way, if you turn around one, you need to look the other way. I'll get the band in your right arm. So if you want to extend it all the way to the sky, straight up, perfect. So as you're going to do, it, you're going to extend your arm all the way to a horizontal movement. Perfect. So those are your extenders working in a concentric movement. And if you want to bring it back up to the sky, those are also your extenders working in a eccentric movement. Okay. So that's a band. You want to sit on your back, lay down. You can come as close to me so that your shoulder is off the bed. Okay. So what we're going to start off, we're going to start also in the neutral position and aim your arm all the way at the 90 degrees. So those are your flexors working in concentric movement. If you want to extend it all the way to your back, those are your extenders working in eccentric movement. So if you want to bring it up all the way to the sky again, those are extenders working in concentric movement. And if you want to bring up the neutral position back down, those are your flexors working in eccentric movement. Yeah. Now if you want to go all extended leg before all the way in the back, those are your extenders working in concentric movement. And if you want to bring it back to the neutral position, those are your uh, flexors working in concentric movement. So, hello, John Luca. Uh, today we'll be performing open chain and closed chain movement of the knee. We're going to start by open chain, but you can just lay down your back uh, on the bed. Perfect. If you can lift up your right knee for me so I can put the pillow right on there. Perfect. If you put it right down. Perfect. So the open chain movement of the knee, it, uh, it's going to start off by if you can just lift up this leg. Perfect. Go back down. So that's open chain movement of the knee. Why it's open chain movement of the knee is because the proximal part of the knee is fixed, so it's not moving. And the distal part of the knee is in a movement, moving position. Uh, two advantages of this movement is, the first one is it isolates the muscle quite well. So in this instance, the quad muscle is very well isolated. Another advantage is that for people who struggle with weight bearing, this is a great exercise to increase muscle without having weight bearing issues. However, one disadvantage of open chain movement is that it does allow a lot of uh, sheer force on the knee, especially in this movement. Yeah. So now we're gonna go to close chain, if you could just lift up your right knee. We're gonna stand up and do close chain movements. Yeah. You stand right in front of me, perfect. So with close chain movement, it's the opposite of open chain. So the distal part of your knee of your, the knee segment is fixed while the proximal part is moving. So another exercise that can do that is squatting. So if you just do a little squat for me, perfect. So in that movement, is exactly close chain movement of the knee. Uh, an advantage of this movement is that it increases joint stability while also increasing uh, proprioception and balance. However, a disadvantage of this is that it, it puts a lot uh, more uh, compression, compression force on the knee, which is actually one of the differences uh, between open chain and closed chain. So exactly, so in uh, closed chain movement, there's a way more compression force on the knee, while in open chain movement, there's way more sure force. Another difference in open versus closed chain is the distal versus proximal part. Like we talked before, and for example, open chain, the proximal part of the knee doesn't move, while the distal part of the knee moves, while in closed chain, it's the opposite. So the proximal part of the knee moves while the distal part of the knee is fixed. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you. Thank you.